one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Clerk, call the roll, please. Burns? Here. Collins? Here. Cotto? Kirby? Here. Holt? Here. Johnson? Here. Southall? Here. You are, uh, we have one absent. Uh, is there a motion to excuse? So moved. I would move to uh, excuse Councilwoman Cottle. Second motion. And moved and second that we excuse Councilwoman Cottle. Is there any discussion? All those in favor of the motion, let it be known by the sign of voting aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> motion carries. Next item on the agenda is minutes. You all receive a copy of the minutes. Are there, um, if there are no uh, additions to or changes in the minutes, the minutes will stand approved as presented. Item number three is presentations. There are no presentations on the agenda for this evening. Item number four, communication from the public. This is the time for citizens to comment on matters before council or to ask questions of concern to them. When recognized, please come forward to the podium, give your name and address, and then state your comments or questions. Council meetings are tape recorded for ease of transcriptions. Comments are limited to five minutes. Is there anyone from the public who would like to address council? Hearing none, item number five is standing committees. First standing committee is community development, Mr. Barnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no report, but I would answer any questions if there are any. Any questions uh, for Mr. Barnes? Mr. Barnes, I have one item on the agenda for you for the work session on the 13th. That's the Hamilton County Solid Waste Management Plan update. Do you have any others to add? No, thank you. Next committee is Law Committee, Councilwoman Collins. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no report for council at this time from the Law Committee, but I will field any questions. Any questions for Councilwoman Collins? Hearing none, uh, <clears throat> uh, Councilwoman Collins, I have no items on the agenda for you. Do you have any to add? No. Next committee report is Human Resources Committee, Councilwoman Holt. I do not have a report tonight, thank you. Any questions for Councilwoman Holt? Hearing none, Councilwoman Holt, I have no items for you. Do you have any to add? No, I do not, thanks. Next committee report is Public Safety. I have no report uh, from public safety. I have one item on the agenda that's uh, a presentation for uh, re involving the We Thrive grant, and I have no other items to add. I'll answer any questions if there are any. Next committee report is public improvement and facilities. Mr. Southall. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I do not have a report for public improvement uh, this time, but I will answer any questions if possible. Any questions for Mr. Southall? Hearing none, Mr. Southall, I have two items for you on the agenda for the work session. The first is uh, disposal of vehicles, and the second is Forest Park 2017 Street Program. Do you have any to add? Uh, I do not have any additional at this time, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The next committee report is Ways and Means Committee, Councilwoman Herbie. I have no report. Any questions for Councilwoman Herbie? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, Councilwoman Herb, I have one item on the agenda, incentive programs. Do you have any to add? No. <coughs> okay. Um, any questions for Councilwoman Herbie? Next report is intergovernmental relations and communications. It's my committee. I have no report. Um, I will answer any questions if there are any. Hearing none. We will go to item number six, the mayor's report. I would like to um, report, just uh, thank you actually, that um, on Saturday, <coughs> the 25th of February, we had the 25th anniversary of uh, 25th annual Gospel Fest that was held at Day Springs Church. It was exceedingly well attended, and I would like to thank those members of the Parks and Recreation Commission for a job well done. I would like to obviously thank Day Spring Church for the use of their facility for the 17th year. Uh, I would like to 
thank the performers and the members of the public who came. And finally, as a, a little bit of a personal note on that, I would like to uh, say that for those of you who were not able to attend, you missed an outstanding performance by one of council's own, um, Councilwoman Holt. Uh, led a song for her church choir that was outstanding and I would say uh, there were those who commented that uh, the new Whitney Houston had just uh, left the stage. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for the that would end my report. I'll answer any questions if there are any. The next report, number, item number eight of the city manager's report, Mr. Hodges. Thank you. I'll first report that uh, everything is running smoothly with the various departments. There's no particular issues to uh, take note of. But I would also report that the activities of the department have been included in the departmental reports. The re departmental reports have been filed with the clerk of council. They are filed for, with the uh, clerk for public inspection. And they have been included in the council packet. So that would conclude my report, but I would respond to any questions if there are any. Uh, any questions for Mr. Hodges? Hearing none, thank you, sir. We'll next go to item number eight of the reports. Uh, first of those being Law Director Mr. Wyckoff, and welcome back. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I want to thank Council and the Mayor and the City Manager and the City Staff for their patience during my absence. But I'm back. I feel great. Um, after the third round in the uh, operating room, I think they finally got it right. But um, there's been a lot of activity, although I haven't been here physically. I've been doing a lot of work, and I'm sure you're getting copies of it. I think the most significant issue we now have before us is this new Senate Bill 331, which is about the micro cells. And what I mean by that is cell phones. If you go to a stadium, often everybody gets on the phone at the same time and your call can't go through. So they want to put small uh, cell phone towers in different locations. They've already hidden some discreetly, as an example, um, in stadiums like the Horseshoe Stadium in Columbus. They're discreetly hidden in the facade of the stadium. There's also uh, examples where in Mason, they've put them on light poles and the providers have made them blend in with a light pole so it doesn't take away from the aesthetics of their nice light poles. But the fear is someone not as cooperative comes in and the law as it's now written basically allows them to put this pole anywhere they want, which could be in a residential area. And we can't do anything locally about that issue, so we depend a lot upon cooperation with the provider. Um, February 23rd, David, Bus King and I uh, both attended a video conference put on by the Ohio Municipal League regarding this. And I think for myself, the most important thing I got out of it was the city of Cincinnati has a great ordinance. So I've copied this ordinance. I'm going to give two copies to Mr. Hodges, one for himself and one to share with Dave Busking. It's, it's very lengthy and it's very detailed, but administratively it gives the city at least some power review and addresses a lot of the issues. I think this will continue to uh, expand and change over time. Different municipalities are going to run into different problems. Um, there's a group of municipalities threatening litigation to challenge because under Ohio, as you know, Ohio can only have one issue in their legislation, and this issue was combined with some saving the puppies and kitties legislation. So, so there, there may be potential grounds because there are a number of municipalities upset enough to sue the state over this issue. Um, but uh, we need to at least look at, we, we can't put a moratorium on this. We need to look at, do we want to pass legislation similar to the city of Cincinnati? And if so, we should do that expeditiously. Uh, so that's the most important thing I have. And as this develops, if any of you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Any questions for the law director? Very none. Thank you, sir. Mr. Mayor, yes. um, who is our uh, school district liaison? Okay. Could I talk to you after council meeting? Thank you. The, okay. The 
Thank you, sir. Next report uh, is Clerk of Council, Mrs. Hoffman. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to report the ordinance number 02-2017 and resolution number 01-2017 and 02-2017 were posted as required. And that concludes my report. <laughs> Any questions for clerk or council? Hearing none, thank you. Next item, item number nine is new business. There are no new business items on the agenda. Uh, at this time, before we announce the adjournment, I would like a motion to reconvene into executive session for the purposes of continuing the discussions uh, re uh, relative to um, administrative transitions and labor relations matters. Councilwoman Herbie. I would move to adjourn uh, into executive session uh, to discuss uh, personnel matters related to administrative transition. Second. And moved and second that we adjourn into executive session for the purpose of discussing uh, uh, labor relations matters and executive uh, matters relating to administrative transitions. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, would the clerk call the roll on the motion to adjourn into executive session? Burns? Yes. Collins? Yes. Herbie? Yes. Holt? Yes. Johnson? Yes. South Yes. Uh, the motion to adjourn in the executive session passes unanimous, and I will uh, announce to the audience and to our Waycross people that when we do return, we will not, I repeat, we will not be conducting any business other than the motion to reconvene. And uh, so you are obviously uh, welcome to stay, but I just want you to know that we won't be doing any further business. At this point, we're now adjourned and we will reconvene in 3B in executive session. <laughs>